and always tripped me out when he climbing up the wall. <laughs> I don't know why they always just make me laugh. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with my lovely wife, Jenna Lee, on the ones and twos. And this is We Ain't Seen It Reactions, the place where we react everything that we've never seen. And today, we're kicking things off with another segment of My Wife Ain't Never Seen It because she ain't never seen shit. Especially from my childhood, which I got a problem with. But yeah. This ain't even from your childhood. This still is from my, well, my adulthood slash somewhat childhood but yeah this is another reaction to the spectacular spider-man last time you seemed to really enjoy what you saw or you know it wasn't bad per se what you saw animation or art style you know it could leave a lot to the imagination since it's not the best in terms of designs but yeah, it the works art style, everybody look like they got some sort of issues yeah but... they're, they're highly characterized highly and when i say highly i mean you know that right you remember that dude with the big forehead that was poking out yeah you know what his name is his name is hammerhead mm. <laughs> i could have guessed that i should have guessed it um but yeah. yeah it was good last time we watched it it was pretty good the interweb was out and you know right we, we need a little watching. something to do man we were surviving in the cold conditions of the internetless climate yeah um it was pretty good uh I forget what happened. Uh, Electro, you know, my oh. man Max Dillon falls yeah. into electric eels. Unfortunately, the dude was shooting up with freaking crocodile, lizard, whatever it was, uh, yeah, DNA. Dr. And, Connors. Yeah, had him at the lab fixing on stuff, and he went ahead and fixed him. He fixed him all right. Right. Uh, and he got fixed into that damn electric eel bowl. Right. And now his ass is electro. Yeah, and a little tiny little detail. The electricity hit Dr. Kirk Connors' little serum that he's using to restore it his did. arm. I noticed that, yeah. So, so. we, we kind of already know what that entails. But anyways, guys, we ain't going to waste any more of your time. We're going to jump into this next episode, which is episode three titled Natural Selection. Natural. So let's go ahead and jump into this, man. You can tell by the color of this scene. Uh, yeah, right there, hun. Got that Sin City filter and that yellow PP tone to it. You don't see the electricity up in there? Right. It's a real mm. It's a He said he had to shoot up before he went up in there to play with her booty cheeks. Right. I don't, the thing that get me about this version is like, nigga, you got a whole mechanical arm. Kurt Connors never usually has that. Right. In I was thinking that. I'm like, you got a mechanical arm that works well. Right. You can pop lock with it and everything. But you want to have one of them fleshly arms so you can feel everything. I'm home. And before 10, thank you very much. Peter, making your curfew with only seconds to spare is hardly calls for celebration. Hey. Don't stress, okay? I know you've been struggling to make ends meet. But that's all about to change. Believe me. Mm. Oh, yes. I must relieve this. I'm gonna do it. How you don't hurt him over there losing his shit? Kurt, what is it? Mm. Really? All that because he lost his old funky hand. You, Kurt, tell me you didn't use that lizard DNA formula. Some lizards regenerate lost limbs. And some lizards stick to walls and eat raw meat. That doesn't mean you risk your life. Look, to... look at the results. Don't you see what this means? To me, to the world, we can literally heal millions. Mm -hmm. Hey, partner! Now we can take a full portrait with right. you holding me. <laughs> Here, bro. Right. We still got cleaning. To save it for later, kids. First, we celebrate. Ooh, cake. Chocolate. Chocolate. They said that like they didn't know that the cake was chocolate. Hand. Your right hand. <laughs> 
Like I've been doing some extra exercises while I'm in the bathroom. Sorry. What are you kidding? Do you know how thrilled I am to lose at arm wrestling? Doc, this is huge. Could have lost with the other arm. Yeah. For like every lost limb and amputation in the world. I think I could be We're doing an arm wrestle. We're talking guaranteed Nobel Prize. Slow down, Eddie. Yeah. Bad enough my husband used himself as a guinea. Billy? Uh, Eddie installed Space Wackos 2 on the office computer. Space Wackos? Wicked. That sounds like a scientific porn parody. <laughs> <laughs> Space wackos. What are you kidding? It, it, it's freezing. Whip out your blasters. Yeah, mm -hmm. nigga, I gotta have a word with your ass. I've been feeling stuff on your back when we was having some fun time. Oh, that's nightmare. Got fuels. that goddamn kill monger. Right? <laughs> Please, you need to keep a clear head. No, you need to hurry. Control. Boy, just put on some lotion and call it a day. The formula creates new reptile sequences faster than I can ID them. I don't know how we'll ever knock them all down. Wait, bro. What if we work from the other end? Create a human DNA filter that knocks out the lizard code. Like the noise filter on a cell phone. <laughs> yeah, nice try, bro. But, uh... No, wait! That could work! Right. A gene cleanser! Yes. Yes, of course. I should have seen it before. My notes. You should have seen away. something before that you shouldn't have did that. Right, you letting a little amateur scientist like Peter peep out this shit? Hey, Billy. How long were you listening? I didn't want to talk about that. Okay. What do you want to talk about? Why we don't have pupils. That's what I want to talk about. Uh huh. Because I ain't got pupils. the babies get eaten by predators. And the parents don't even care. Because they've only got lizard brains. Billy, trust me. Your dad will always care about you. Even if he turns into a monster? Damn right, Billy. I'm Lizard Control. A grave lapse in judgment. Uh oh. I'm not like other guys. Right? Now I can be in that Thriller 2.0 video. Ooh. I like how I was morphing his head. It's like, you thought I was like, my shit ow. Bro, you didn't have to knock over everything. I mean, does he have any control or logic right now? Like, he's a lizard. That's what lizards do. They're going to knock over shit when they Lizards are smart. Kurt? Kurt, do you recognize me? Yeah, get your ass caught up. <laughs> Goddamn Bronco Bill. Poor Eddie. He be trying his <laughs> best. Every time somebody start transforming in that lab, he try to fix it and then get his ass whipped. Eddie better sit his ass down and wait till he gets some black goo or something. Uh, I should get going too. It may have brown me if I'm not home by 10. Pete, you can't leave now. We have to help. Well, I just... I can't be late. She worries. I always you use your aunt he, maid to go do shit because you want to do it. Even though it's the right thing to do. I guess he's scared. First Electro, now this. It's overwhelming. And he's only 16. I'm 16? Uh, I know. And thank you. Sweet 16. I mean, I'd be like, that's why we girls gotta stick together. Right, because these boys are pussies. Damn. Not Eddie Kingston. Ugh. Lizard's flute. Sorry, pal. No eating in the subway. Good shit. Dr. Cox, we have to get you back to the lab, understand? Dr. C, you in here? Punch him! Okay, maybe not. Oh, yikes! Can you say how it poses? <laughs> It's gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Definitely hurts me more than you. Tail whip! Goddamn spider Goddamn spider Where'd you get to now? Well, I'm calling my stick! You stop spinning the web and I'll sue! Copyright infringement. Alright. 
It's like, if this keeps up, it's going to be another scene of Gantz, like a reenactment of the first opening. <laughs> right? They say it's kids. Yeah, talk about his own tail. Right. Boy, Peter Parker is getting beat the F up. Shit, literally. He getting beat into the trains. <laughs> Cheese, bitches. I prefer meat. Human flesh. Martha said you ain't gonna do it. Man, that's the chick from um, Home Alone 2 right there. The murder woman. The acting scenes on this are pretty good. Yeah, it's like the art style really lends itself to the movements and mm. stuff. It makes it to where they can pull off more things. Nice. <laughs> he hit the reverse lead. Right. Oh. So much for plan A. Nigga. Now, how you just tackle a lizard man, but you scared of a snake? Hey, man, snakes have a weird, creepy way of slithering. Good. Oh, yeah, that's the perfect environment for him. It's probably warm up in there. You got the wrong house, fool! Right? <laughs> this is my swamp now, bitch! Barrel roll! Right. There go my cousin, though. Benny, get this nigga! <laughs> <laughs> Under the sea, motherfucker. Damn. <laughs> what you That's doing? Much. <laughs> I thought I told you to stay put. Are you complaining? No way, bro. Uh, guy, look, we need a new strategy. Lizzie's not in a medicine taking mood. Not when he's so enjoying his. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he tossing that motherfucker. Okay. So I wouldn't be playing around with the pole bears either, though. I wouldn't either. But they can't turn through that shit. Check. Next, find the perfect spot to bounce Lizard into the drink. Check, check. Perfect angle. I guess so. <laughs> Somebody get this nigga! He crazy! I was just trying to play with your tail! Somebody always got a trick over something. You know how it is. Surprise. He got on them now Fubu boots. Them lugs. Little Tony Hawk pro skater over here. <laughs> Did you skateboard here? I took a cab. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Nick, you know that is not logical unless it's Tony Hawk. <laughs> so I took an Uber, nigga. Get stuck in your own web, really. I'm surprised the polar bears ain't came out and was like, what in the hell going on in my house? Alright, unless y'all bring a Coca-Cola, y'all better chill. Literally. Y'all better be bringing some Coca-Cola or some penguins. Mm. I'll borrow that. It's your present, Lizzie. Gene cleansing. Guaranteed to remove your toughest stains. Grease, mustard, even lizard DNA. <laughs> I'm gonna whoop your ass before I turn back, nigga. Right. I only got a limited time only to fuck you up. But it hurts going back in than it does coming out. Pictures and everything. But who could have taken these? Check the byline. You ain't got the nerve to be right there. Uh, I, did you see? There's no shots of Billy or Dr. Connors or anything to prove that he was the lizard. And that's supposed to... Bro... You ditched the antidote effort to win a contest. Eddie, it's all right. Besides, 
and not exactly in a position to throw stones. Right, you was in you a got you just opened up the door with Here, the damn your young metal hand. Faced with difficult choices, young people sometimes make mistakes. Thanks for understanding. I understand you, but I can't trust you. You fired. You're fired. <laughs> Not knowing he's the one who saved your husband's life. That's the curse of being Spider-Man. Hard 9 p.m. curfew, no job, and friends who all think I'm scum. Right. Don't even get a customer discount or employee discount. Bad luck. A random bug bite. Easiest decision I ever made. Oh, yeah. Some sugar to that first, my nigga? No. With great power comes great responsibility. Mm hmm we didn't even get a chance to see this dude die. I saved him. Spider-Man's no magic wand, but thanks to the webhead, Kurt's cured, and Billy gets his father back. So what if nobody threw a parade? Spidey stays because Spidey's needed. For now, anyway. Period. Right, while well, looking over the city. So if the world is your oyster, boy, you better do that so you can have your own little web wallpaper and everything. But guys, that was episode three titled Natural Selection. So now we're seeing that Peter, he has to deal with being Spider-Man right. and having that cross pollinate with his personal life, you know, and unfortunately, Spider-Man's life negatively impacts the stuff that he has going on when he's Peter Parker. Right. It's like Peter Parker. He can fight crime. Spider-Man can fight crime, he can get your girl, he can do it all, but Petey Parker, he can't even not be bullied at school and keep a good job. Exactly. So it's And a he wasn't even getting paid at the job, so it's even more of a kick in the face. You're going to fire me from a job I wasn't even getting paid for? Right. What? Yeah, it's like... What? It's like he was just there because he loved to do it. Maybe he wanted the experience before he got to college or something, or so it would look good on his resume. I don't know, but, you know, and it's like, I can't trust you. But you know what? <laughs> I hate doing these recaps, but I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna just go off on a small tangent and just say some of you women out there will blame everybody else but your man for causing the issue your man caused. And this woman, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Connors here, is a perfect example of that. Let me blame the child who ran away in fear. So that's what she thinks happened. Right. Let me blame the child who ran away in fear and tried to. You know, it's trying to help his grandma not get evicted. Let me blame him instead of blame my dumbass husband who I told to stop doing drugs. Yeah. <laughs> That's your man you gonna sleep beside him? <laughs> yeah, I see why she wasn't up in the Amazing Spider-Man. But yeah, man. Um, Shit, if with a wife like that, enabler, terrible wife, terrible wife. Unfortunately, I always Skylar blame White, another person. Except Skylar White, she didn't even try to help Walter. She just was terrible all the way around. This lady just enabled this dude. Mm. Anyway. Where, what would you rate it? I'm gonna give that an S. Ooh, so there you have it, guys. An S on her part. Um, I, I give it an S too. That's what I gave when I originally watched it, even though that score wasn't Didn't really exist yet. existing when I was watching this show. But uh, with that said, let's go ahead and keep it moving and grooving to the next episode, which is titled Market Forces. So let's see what these forces or forces. I know y'all motherfuckers gonna correct me on some shit. But yeah, let's see what these market forces is talking about. Job done. Forget the hat. Put on the suit. You still own the big right. one. Right. You don't have to be Kirby Kelly. You can be the shocker. I don't know why this little animation always tripped me out when he climbing up the wall. <laughs> I don't know why they always just like, make me laugh. <laughs> it's like I gotta hurry up and scratch my booty while nobody's looking. <laughs> Aunt May, I'm not decent. <laughs> All right, calm down. There's breakfast waiting downstairs. I'll be at Mrs. Watson's. I always thought, like, man, anybody can have a Spider-Man suit, so why are you tripping? Waffles. Just say it's pajamas. Wait, he'll be at Mrs. Watson's. Yeah. Yes. Like Anna, yes. I think um, Anna oh, Watson. Mm. Oh, past due. Oh, good, you're up. I've just been visiting with Anna and her niece, Mary Jane. Oh, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be Mary Jane. Mary Jane. What's she like? She has a wonderful personality. She's there now. Why don't we just head over? I'd love to, Aunt May, but I promised Harry I'd help him study. Now I can't miss the bus. Bye. You could have set me up on a catfish date. Peter, good to see you. 
Here to help Harry. Why is Tag always out? Right. It's supposed to be like a testament to how lame he is or something in his Peter Parker form that he always got his tag out. I guess so. Self made. I'm more of a. Like why he look like he got a freeze and a comb over? You are making progress. <laughs> you say that about him? Mind if I check my email? People who bully their kids to other kids to are low. Mm-hmm. Which would rock if either of us had what's the word? A uh, date? Could probably ask Mary Jane Watson. Mary who what now? Mary who be holiday who be wedding? Me. Oh, get this. She has a wonderful personality. Mm. I was thinking about asking Gwen. Just as a friend, you know. Well, actually, I wouldn't know. Miss Stacy is currently not speaking to me. From the desk of J. Jonah James. You got two blondes that's oh, looking at you sideways. You're the Daily Bugle. Mr. Parker, come in ASAP to claim paycheck for photos of Spider-Man. Yes! I'm in my office in 14 seconds. And where's my coffee? Man, J. Jonah James is kind of swollen. I, I'm Peter I'm Crane. You are. You're the know-nothing who wasted 41 seconds of my time the other day. Well, I have got another 41 to spare. But, but Brilliant comeback, kid. Mm. Now, where's that Parker guy? I emailed him 76 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Decaf. It's only been 20 minutes, and I'm pretty sure you just picked the It's like when people comment before watching the video. Well, I'll just stand there. Get him back! Oh, this is too humiliating. Wait. My money! Right, nigga. Go get your check, man. Really? Sorry about that, Parker. Was expecting someone old enough to have, you know, armpit hair. <laughs> now, that 16-year-olds have armpit hair. So hey, what is he talking about? And, and it stinks, too. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll do my best, but you still okay. here? What do you want, Amel? Get out! out! I want to finish that line okay, going down you your mouth me, with a Thanks, marker. Miss Brand. I'm Betty. So, Betty, how do you work for a walking embolism with Jameson? Mr. Jameson is a decent man. Down deep. Are we talking Mariana's Trench Deep or Dante's Night Circle Deep? <laughs> See you soon, Peter Parker. Big back. Let's put this so right here. Still deadline? No sweat. Oh, don't want anything to happen to this. Why don't you put it somewhere? Put it in the ball set. Really? Uh, and out of all the places to put it. It's just gonna be hot and sweaty. The signature's gonna it's sweat off. How many times do I have to take you down? And where's your charming partner on her? <laughs> Dukes, you are. Derp! Oh. Oh. I reckon that came as a bit of a shock. Hey, bug. See what you good. did there. So this. Silk! Silk the shocker clocker! It's like my face looks like an Eggo waffle, but I pack a punch. Just imagine a redneck dude you? chasing after Holy you, trying to blast you with electricity. Right. Shocker. It's like I'm getting attacked by a walking bottle of Bijan mustard. Damn. I like how his effect is. It's green. What the fuck? But say, I'm gonna take out all of this trash. He's gonna get all of this work. Did I get him? Oh, yeah, I got him. All you got is on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> That's what some dumbass deserves. Right. Stay out of this boy the grown ups were talking. Don't get too mad at O'Hearn. He just gets cranky without his. Uh oh. Vibrator. Oh, impressive. You can hire yourself out as a kitty ride. Thanks. <laughs> Now I'm gonna take you out, just like this, and took out the Jonas Brothers show. Did Jonas Brothers even have a show? Yeah. Oh. No. Extraction. Hey, a little help? I'll leave you for the cops, but I'm in too good a mood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about your tight spots, but I'm alive. Probably smell like booty juice. Oh, and I reek. And my paycheck's ruined. Perfect. I don't see how I got ruined like that, though. Uh, look, Miss Brett, I mean, Betty, 
This is embarrassing, but could you replace my check? It got trashed. Well, sure. Oh, you have to meet our editor-in-chief. Joe Robertson? This is Peter What do he look Turner. like? His name is Joe Robertson. Mm. Right. Robbie. Call me Robbie. He look like he like the barbecue sense? on the weekends, too, with his flip-flops on or his, his sandals. Uh, do you know a Rand Robertson? Well, there is a kid by that name who lives in my house and eats all my food. You admit that? Yes, sir. Good school. Look, Peter, the fact that you've twice gotten any usable pictures of Spider-Man is pretty amazing. But the photos themselves... You have your camera on you? She's kind of hard to keep in focus. I wonder if they the same voice actor. You want to be a Google freelancer? You take that check and invest in a serious camera. Garbage! Garbage! Literally garbage! Garbage! Wait! Ho ho! Uh, <laughs> literally garbage. Spider-Man's winning? Ah, shows what you know. Nobody loves a winner. The people are our market, and the people want their heroes to fail. Makes them feel good about themselves. This will be the precursor to clickbait. Just advice, kid. Perfume doesn't cut it. Tomato juice. Only thing after taking pictures at a dump. Mm. It'll be open season for every hood in the city. <laughs> Stop it. Cash in this chips myself. <laughs> Something smells bad. Oh, still? <laughs> I washed this costume five times. You! They should stink too. My demise have been greatly exaggerated. I'm not dead. Never mind. Just tell Shocker I want a rematch. You can call cops now. Mm. I really hate that guy. This is really, really getting heavy. <laughs> oh, hi, Peter. Perfect timing. Hold this. Well, don't tell me Miss Betty you should be trying to do something. Do this more often. This a child. I mean, her. you and mm. I have so much in common. We both put mustard on our hot dogs. Uh, we, we both work for Jolly Jonah, and that's a treat, believe me. Anyway, I was wondering, would you like to go to my fall formal? Uh, with me, that is. Your fall formal? Yeah, at my high school, in the gymnasium. Trying to holler at something, man. So, <laughs> is that deafening silence a yes? It's a very sweet offer, but... I'm just too old for you, Peter. <laughs> it's just a dance. Good job. Rock and roll. Burn. Good job. Take the science angle. Manhattan is not known for earthquakes, and that was the third tremor in the last hour. Tremor? We're shocked. Shocker! The epicenter's equally spaced. A straight line heading uptown. These aren't quakes. They're Shocker's trail of breadcrumbs for yours truly. Hmm. And I think I know where to find his gingerbread house. Here, Shocky, Shocky, Shocky. I'm um, here, all right. Today. That's what he said. Really thought I'd ended you, old son. But you got more lives than a bag of cats. Still, I reckon we can remedy that situation. Let's go ahead and enjoy the grand opening. Groundbreaking performance, indeed, if I say so myself. The theater at last was. One <laughs> I'll do it. I'm gonna be called Jack Slater, the last action killer. Ooh. Have a seat. There you go. Under the chandelier. Place is condemned. That's all you gotta do. Let him do all the hard work. You know, it really ain't wise to make a dangerous man look foolish. You don't need my help for that. You look at a mirror lately? <laughs> right, like an oven mitt. It's like, no, watching these action sequences in this show, it's like, you know, we give, well, we watch a lot of anime on this channel, of course, like, we give a lot of, you know, anime studios and stuff credit for good animation, which they, they deserve. It's like, you know, I'm very good to watch the show. Hey, you are. Ooh. Also, a tugger, a yanker. But they do have a lot of Asian uh, artists. Yeah, I was gonna say that probably is the case. Korean specifically. I know a lot of people once they become acquainted with anime, they just shit on all the American shows. So yeah, a lot of people do that. I don't know if we would classify them as weebs or what, but weebs, yeah, at all. And that's what they call bringing down the house. <laughs> 
You seem troubled, son. Troubled? Gee, you think? I failed my cow test because Pete abandoned me. Flash's crowd won't cut me a break. Enough. You're parked in a no-whining zone. Take some responsibility. <laughs> Peter's not the reason you failed. You want to pass a test? Study. You want to be popular? Be popular. Take control of your destiny, boy. Harry, life's pretty simple. You cowboy up and do what you have to do. Right. I expect to have some Gates. weaves like mine. I will. My phone. Proposition. Like a slider. Spider-Man battles the likes of the vulture, the lizard, and even our shocker. He's too busy to interfere with my empire. We would like to hire you to create more, well, let's call them super villains. What's in it for me? Ample funding and a ready supply of human guinea pigs for your more questionable experiments. <laughs> Nedley, the bugle. What is it? What's the card say? I'm gonna get me. Of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Robbie, it's me. I'm here. Oh, but there is. Talk. Um, Wait, yeah. The Asian dude. I said mm -hmm. Parker was there. Already emailed his shots. Kid still needs a new camera. What's this? The bugle paid me for my pictures. Now you can pay those bills. Out of the question. Besides, if you're going to take photos for the bugle, you need a new camera. Uh, well, that thought occurred. But a man has to honor his responsibilities. That's right. That's one of mine. Aunt May, please. Let me help. And Aunt May Listen. really looks like a if young you woman. She just got gray hair and the glasses on. Yeah. Camera. Do you? She can find somebody. Deal. I'm sure somebody is willing to you know, come say hello. Peter, dear. Why do you smell like tomato juice? That's better than smelling like poo poo juice. But right. It did smell like. He's like, hey man, I had bought about 20 bottles of V8. Not Splash. But guys, that was episode four, Market Forces, man. Uh, what, what did you think about that? That was really good to me. It was good. I feel like I'd give that one an S2. It was, you know. S for Spectacular. You know it. Or S for Spidey. That's for spectacular Spider-Man, man. There you go. But no, I, I like that. That was um it's again another another example of how it's just really difficult for him to balance his life. Um it's like Spider-Man is I don't know, just Peter Parker versus Spider-Man. It's like in his Peter Parker form, he's losing all his friends. Well, he's losing his friends, he only had two. Right. He's, you know, getting flat. Well, I guess you could say Eddie was his friend, you know, and Eddie's kind of like, ah, I'm Shading not going. him. Yeah, he's like, I'm not going, you know, you know, I'm not going to hold you, but, but, you know, back off a little bit because I, right. I don't know if I can trust you. And I'm like, I understand what they're saying, but they don't know. And he's like, he doesn't really know if he can trust them. So it's like a two-way street, you know. And so, yeah, now you got, I already knew what's the name was evil, um, the Harry's dad, but mm -hmm. now you really get into what he's really into and... Harry is probably going to follow in his footsteps, unfortunately. Yeah, it's almost like Norman Osborn, even though he means well for Harry, he gives him that tough love. It's like right. that tough love can turn into something very negative you know in the near future. Who? The, I forget, on, on Static Shock, there was a dude who was super rich, who had a son. Mm. Who he, I oh, like yeah. Kinda, yeah, he was kind of hard on him, and then he got turned into something. Yeah, some kind of super And he wanted to do everything he could to turn him back. But he pretty regretted how he treated him. Yeah. That reminds me of that. So. Yeah, I don't know if Norman gonna regret anything though, because Norman is all about business, man. You see oh, how he's oh rubbing God. elbows with a lot of different people. Yeah, like I say, he's gonna become Tony Stark, which that's what he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be like this universe's version of Tony Stark, where he has the funds, he has the scientific advancements to give them what they need to become super powered freaks. So yeah. Yeah. But anyways, guys, there you have it. And S again, Johnny is really enjoying this series, and hopefully she, to uh, you know, sticks around. No pun intended for some of the bigger surprises that are going to happen that continue to weave in a more narrative flow of things with all these different characters. So yeah, can't wait for you to see everything that's going to unfold. I'm not going to spoil anything. But yeah, this is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer. My lovely wife, Jenna Lee, on the ones and twos. We ain't seen the reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction to The Spectacular Spider-Man. Peace.